Hi everyone, this is Indra. Welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, I am going to discuss about one very important and very interesting topic in the engineering mathematics that is Laplace transformation. Uh, the Laplace transformation has so many applications in engineering field uh, like uh, for analysis of the linear time invariant systems in the electrical circuits and uh, we can use the Laplace transformation for solving the differential equations also and uh, the Laplace transformation is um, basically used to change the time domain into the corresponding frequency domain if uh, if we want to observe the corresponding frequency of a signal then we have to uh, use the Laplace transformation to change the time domain into the corresponding frequency domain and vice versa and uh, these are the some uh, applications of the Laplace transformation we will discuss about uh, that uh, later and here we will discuss about the Laplace transformation um, by the basic idea by the basic definitions please watch this video till the end and so that uh, you will get uh, the basic idea of the Laplace transformation as well as some um, applications of the Laplace transformation and if you don't subscribe my channel yet please make sure to subscribe it and press the bell, bell icon press the bell icon for instant notification of all the uploaded videos from this channel uh, without wasting any further time let's move ahead this is the to, uh, this is the topic of our discussions uh, today we will discuss about the laplace transformation first of all uh, the very first step is laplace transformation is used to change the time domain into the corresponding frequency domain yes represents the frequency domain it is the complex variable here the time domain is changed into the corresponding frequency domain uh, by using the concept of the Laplace transformation and we can um, do the opposite things the lap, uh, frequency domain also can be changed into the corresponding time domain by using the inverse Laplace transformation so the Laplace transformation is, uh, transformation is used to change the time domain into the corresponding frequency domain and vice versa and uh, let's uh, talk about the basic definitions the basic definition of the Laplace transformation the basic definition of the Laplace transformation let's take one signal which is in the time uh, which is in the time variable f of t it is in the time variable here it is the uh, it is the uh, let's uh, time dependent signal it is the input let's take it is the input signal input signal here uh, we are going to this uh, we are going to take its uh, it's corresponding in the Laplace transformation it is the um, here uh, the signal in the time domain f of t f of t is the signal in the time domain it's uh, let's take it as the input signal and um, let's uh, insert let's plug in this input signal into the machine of the Laplace transformation this symbol is the notation of the Laplace transformation Laplace transformation of let's plug in this signal f of t Laplace transformation of f of t this will be here the small f is used so the result will be capital F capital F and the domain will be s domain f of s it is just the notation and it is defined as the integral value from 0 to infinity of this signal e to the power negative s t times the function f of t and the integration is done with respect to the time it is the definition it is the also the formula to calculate the Laplace transformation please memorize this formula it is easy to very easy to uh, memorize the Laplace transformation of f of t is just here the f of t this f of t this is the input signal on which uh, to which the Laplace transformation is going to be performed e to the power integration uh, 0 to infinite e to the power uh, negative st times f of t with respect to dt and uh, let's take one example uh, one uh, example example let's take one signal f of t let's define it as the one here i have taken one example where the f of t is the unit signal it is one uh, it is valid for all the uh, time belongs in the set of the real numbers and let's uh, evaluate its corresponding let's uh, find out let's find out the corresponding frequency domain of this signal 
and let's plug in this signal into the Laplace transformation machine Laplace transformation of f of t first of all let me write the formula formula is from 0 to infinity integration from 0 to infinity of the function e to the power s t times f of t dt please memorize this formula it is the basic fundamental uh, formula of the Laplace transformation let's plug in the value here the f of t f of t has the value 1 so let's plug in the value of the f of t and this will be 0 to uh, infinite e to the power negative s t times 1 times 1 dt and this will be integral uh, from 0 to infinity e to the power negative s t dt and let's calculate its uh, corresponding integral value it is very easy uh, here the uh, variable is time this is the variable and the others are the constants here the t is the variable let's evaluate it and the uh, integration of e to the power negative s t is just the same e to the power negative s t and it is divided by the coefficient of the variable here the variable is t and its coefficient is negative s so we have to divide by the negative s and integration is here for from from 0 to infinity here we are uh, just calculating uh, calculating the definite integral and let's plug in the values here and the this uh, negative s is the constant so uh, this can be negative negative 1 over s we can take it as a coefficient and uh, let's evaluate and the integral value is uh, let's plug in this value first in the place of t the value, let's plug in the value of the t is the infinity and e to the power neg uh, negative negative infinity this will be negative infinity uh, minus let's plug in the value of the t is the 0 e to the power 0 and if we simplify this e to the power negative infinity gives the value 0 this will be the 0 0 minus 1 gives minus 1 this will be minus 1 over s minus 1 over s times this will be just minus 1 and we finally obtain the value 1 over s the value of the s should not be equal to 0 it should be positive this else should be positive number s should be the positive number here we finally uh, change this uh, time domain signal here we finally obtain the corresponding frequency domain of the f of t is here the Laplace transform is here 1 over s yes. this is the Laplace transformation of 1 of 1 Laplace transformation of 1 is just 1 over s yes. and we finally change this time domain signal into the corresponding frequency domain signal uh, this is the application uh, this is one very important application of the Laplace transformation in our uh, next video we will discuss more about the um, Laplace transformation use some uh, some properties and some examples as well as uh, some applications also uh, so keep uh, watching keep loving this channel and if you don't subscribe my channel yet please make sure to subscribe it and press the bell icon for instant notification of all the uploaded videos in this channel uh, we will meet in our next video uh, this much for today thank you